back to my channel. It feels like it's been absolutely ages since I've done a video. It's towards the start of the new year now. I'm so, so late with this, but I thought I'll do a what I got for Christmas. And I love watching these videos of other YouTubers, so I thought I'll do one as well. Um, I did one last year, so I'll link it down below. And this year I've been thoroughly completely completely spoiled um i got so many received so many lovely lovely things um from my family and friends and it's just been absolutely wonderful and i'm not gonna show all of my presents um but i'll pick up a few of the ones i absolutely love and maybe if you're thinking of um, ideas for next year or for birthdays or anything special coming up. Um, I hope they'll be useful to you and we'll get started. The first present I received I can't actually show you um, and it's a wonderful awesome awesome present. Um, so fortunate and it came from my stepdad um, and mom and they treated me and my boyfriend to a holiday with them to Mauritius and I think I might have mentioned that I went to Mauritius last year um, with Peter, my boyfriend, and it was really nice. We spent what seemed like a really short period of time just exploring the island and having a really, really nice time. And so this time around, um, we thought we'd go and have a really relaxing holiday and just sit by the pool and sip cocktails and get really, really tanned. Um, I think I've gone like five shades darker than my usual skin tone. Um, and so I'm not really sure my foundation is going that well. Um, it's all right, but the rest of me is completely, completely brown. Um, much darker than usual and it was just really nice to get away um to get away from work and get away from dubai and just have a really nice time it's so relaxing i think i really needed it after what seemed to be a really hard hard year um just with work and and everything that's been happening so um really really lovely and i didn't seem really christmasy to be sure um really warm really sunny um but just really nice as well and then i think this must be one of my favorite things this year um and it's a oh, can see i've gone complete dark there we go um i don't know if you can see that in the camera so it's a hand-drawn um, portrait of Bay, our cat and she's a rag doll and this is one of my favorite pictures of her she looks a little bit scary there um, but it's a lovely lovely picture of her sitting in her basket which she loves and this came from my boyfriend and he got it framed um, and so it's gonna go on the wall once we've decided where it goes and I just love it it's so so beautiful um, really really surprised when I received it and I'm really hoping to get the um, same commission done of Sammy, my previous cat, um, who unfortunately passed away um, a few years ago, and maybe um, some of Honey and Pula as well, um, the dogs of my parents. So I think it just make a really nice gift. Um, so the majority of my presents came from my boyfriend. I think he's really spoiled me this year. Um, kept saying that we're not gonna buy that many presents for each other this year, but um, he totally kind of went all out. And a um, couple of the things that he got me were from Zara, which I've had my eye on. And we're gonna be making a trip to the UK soon in February and it's gonna be really massively cold. So he got me this beautiful, beautiful scarf from Zara and it's in this lovely kind of, got a little fluff in it. It's in this lovely sort of um, soft blue color and it is the softest thing ever. Um, it's just so soft and so lovely. I really enjoy touching this and it's like a really massive one as well. It kind of feels a bit like a blanket. So I'm gonna really enjoy taking this with me to the UK and being all snuggled up and warm. So that would be really nice. And then he got me this bobble hat as well. Um, just a plain black one um, knitted with a little bobble on top. So that is really, really cool. Um, and then it just goes on like that. I'm gonna show gonna completely mess up my hair it's got a little bit of fluff on there but I think it's super super cute and with the scarf as well so really like that kind of like no rhyme or reason to this video um the next thing is this super super cute um little kind of dish 
that looks like a cat. I don't know if you can see. It's got the cutest little face with little ears. Stands on teeny tiny legs and it's got a tail. And inside it's all like little shades of blue, yellow and grey polka dots. It's super super cute. Um, and I think it's made of China as well. So I think I'm going to put some jewellery in there. Um, some of my rings. And I just think this is the cutest little thing. Um, I think this came from my boyfriend's parents. And it's so so cute. I absolutely love this. Um... I'd love to know where they actually got it from because it's so super cute. Presents from Peter's family as well. I told you they have completely spoiled me. Um, this is a little coloring postcard book um, and it's full of little Japanese designs. And they kind of just look like this. It's got different um, designs in them and you can just color them in and they're actually postcards so you can color them in and then send them to people which is such a lovely idea um i really want to get back into writing more to people and sending postcards and sending letters because i am the worst at just keeping in contact with people um i tend to just have everyone on facebook and stalk them so i really want to make more of an effort this time around this is just such a cute little thing um i would really enjoy sort of coloring this in and sending them to people be like a nice little reminder that I'm still alive so that is super cute um, and next is the set of hair ties I think possibly this may have come from anthropology there we go um, I thought maybe ASOS but a um, set of hair ties in blue different shades and these are the sort that um, they're meant to not leave kinks in your hair so I thought that was a really really nice idea um, I've been looking at some of these for a very long time never end up getting any for myself so I was really thoughtful um would really enjoy that from a really close friend of mine all the way from Melbourne um I received one of the Harry Potter related books this is the Tales of Peter the Bard um and it's like a really short story that is in set in the Harry Potter world um and he knows that I like Harry Potter I've just seen the latest as it called um, Fantastic Beast um, and where to find them and I really really enjoyed it so this was really cute um, thank you so much I love books and it's gonna be like a nice little addition to the library from my dad and his partner um, all the way from Paris um, a little bit weird um, so he got me another bag and it's really really odd so um, it's from Karl Lagerfeld and it looks a bit like this so uh last year he got me a bag as well um from michael kors which i adore like i wear it every day to the point that my boyfriend basically just say why do you keep buying new bags when you just wear that one um so he got me another black bag but this is really really kind of unique um it's not anything i've had in my closet um and it's this kind of just embroidered leather it's got lots of texture on the front um, with kind of this black gunmetal um, on the hardware which is really really strange. Um, it's got a long strap as well um, with a shorter strap like that and again the chains are just really kind of heavy and textured and kind of really punk rock-ish so really unusual. Um, very different from my style, very different from my dad's style as well. Um, and to open the bag, you just kind of press those two and it just opens like that. It's got lots of room in there. Um, really cute going out bag. And I can see the lining has, it's kind of a black matte lining with um, the side profile of Karl Lagerfeld. Um, he's the designer of Chanel. So I think this is kind of like a, I'm not getting you a Chanel bag, but here's the next best thing from Karl Lagerfeld, um, which is kind of really cute. So um, looking forward to seeing how I can incorporate this into my wardrobe. Um, it's really, really unusual and but quite lovely. Um, really, really well made, really sturdy. Um, so looking forward to that. And then he also uh, got me a little kind of pouch from Karl Lagerfeld as well. Um, this one is much way way different from the other one. Um, it's a little more Chanel-esque. It's got this lovely kind of tweed texture um, with silver thread running through it, um, gold hardware, and it's just magnetic so it kind of just like pops open 
and it's a phone wallet so I can pop my phone in there I should actually figure out whether my phone actually fits in there kind of kind of does I think it does it looks like it does I figured it out um, anyway, and there's places for your cards and I think a little kind of side pocket um, to put some cash so really good for going out, it's super super cute, um, it's literally just like a little wristlet, wristlet? kind of there, um, so I thought that was really cute, again don't have anything like this in my wardrobe um, but that's super cute. So this next thing I'm almost really embarrassed to say is really really strange. Um, it came from my boyfriend and <laughs> I don't think I've ever loved him as much as I did um, now. And so it came in this massive bag um, and he told me in advance that it was little snacks and I was like oh what's that? Um, and it turns out to be these. So these are super ring O's. I call them super ringers but I think they're just called super rings um, and it's actually a snack from my childhood these came from Malaysia and um, he got me a few of them and what they they're so delicious they're basically just I don't actually know what they are they're called cheese flavored snacks um, contain real cheese and I think now they make them with non artificial coloring as well um, but they're so delicious. Um, I never used to be really that into them when I was younger, but I think last year when we were in Mauritius, um, managed to find like the tiniest little packet of these and I thought, oh, sure, um, I'll get it. And then I just had the most massive craving. The last time we went to Singapore, I tried to find these to bring back and I couldn't. Like, no, no supermarket carried them. I was devastated and I couldn't get any of them. Um, I even went as far as asking my best friend to try to ship them from Malaysia um, and he said no, impossible. Um, so Peter actually, I think he found a way for them to ship from Malaysia to London and then to here so he went kind of all out to get me these little snacks which I brought a couple of bags with me to Mauritius this time around um, basically snacked on them until I felt really ill um, but they're so delicious and it's just really thoughtful um, probably not something that you get for any other person but I really enjoy those and a cute little gift um, is actually like to me for Peter. Um, I think this came from his aunt or possibly his sister. Um, I need to check tags again but um, it's a cute little egg mold and it looks something like this. Um, so the mold looks like that and basically you will cook a hard boiled egg and then put it into the mold and let it stand for a bit and then it comes up to look like a little chick. Which, and then you stick it as well on the little plastic feet. I thought this was so cute. And I look forward to actually using this and seeing whether it actually comes out like a little chick. Peter thinks it's totally weird and he's, he, I don't think he's a fan of hard boiled eggs anyway, um, but I am. So I think I'll probably end up using this a lot more than he does. It's no surprise that I'm a bit of a crazy cat lady. Um, I like all things, I think I like all things animal related, um, but cats especially are really cute because it kind of remind me of my cats um, and my face is kind of like sitting there looking really cute while she's sleeping. Um, but one of the things, these are socks and came from Peter as well. Again, most of these things came from Peter. Um, he's been really, really super sweet, but these are little cat socks um got literally like all the colors imaginable and they all feature like a different cat i think these are on the heel and on the toes if i'm yep so um they feature like a little cat at the toe um and then on the heel as well and it's just so cute and it's just this are from a brand called coco and hannah fashion socks um <laughs> I'll be wearing these, um, usually I wear socks when I go to flywheel, um, so I'll be wearing these while I go to the gym and exercise, but I thought that was like really cute. And another thing that he got cat related, if it's not enough, um, is this super super cute little apron. 
um, and it's got this kind of cat pattern all over it. I know this came from Anthropology. It just flares out like that as well. Um, I think it has... Yep, it has little pockets, I think. Little small pockets. Yep, there we go. Um, and this is actually, I've got this pattern on a mug that I got from Anthropology, um, and I think he recognized it, so he got me the matching apron, which will come to good use because I'm going to be cooking tonight. Um, so we'll see how that 